Did you know that there is a medicinal plant, a precious gift from the earth, that is more powerful than hundreds of other plants put together? And did you know that this plant, with its incredible qualities, can completely change your life, giving you well-being, health, and beauty? For this reason, it should never be missing from your garden, ready to offer you its benefits at any time. Today, we will take you on an extraordinary journey to discover aloe vera, revealing its 10 secret powers, handed down for centuries by wise men and healers. We will listen to the words of the venerable monk Kenko, guardian of ancient knowledge, who will guide us to the discovery of this miraculous plant. We will learn how to grow it, how to use it, and how to get the maximum benefit for our health and well-being. And if you stay until the end of the video, you will not only discover the 10 secrets of aloe vera, but you will also receive a precious piece of advice from the monk Kenko that will change the way you see this extraordinary plant forever. So don't miss this unique opportunity to get in touch with the wisdom of nature and improve your life. But before continuing, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay updated when we publish new spiritual content. The wind, like an ancient breath, blew through the ancient maples of Mount Koya, carrying with it the resinous scent of pine trees and the earthy aroma of the forest after the rain. Pilgrims, who had come from every corner of Japan with their hearts in search of enlightenment, had gathered in the sacred clearing at the foot of the temple. There, on a rock smoothed by time, the venerable monk Kenko sat in meditation, wrapped in his saffron-colored robe. His face, furrowed by wrinkles as deep as the beds of mountain streams, was a living image of the serenity that permeated that place. Kenko, whose ears had heard the silence of the peaks and the whispers of the wind for countless seasons, slowly opened his eyes, shaking the silence like a silk veil, with a fluid and measured gesture, like the unfurling of a lotus flower at dawn, he invited the pilgrims to approach. Welcome, souls on the move, he began in a deep, soothing voice that seemed to echo from the mountains themselves. Today, I will share with you the wisdom of an extraordinary plant, a gift from heaven to earth, a balm for the body and spirit. Many of you know it. Perhaps you cultivate it with care in your gardens, but few truly understand its hidden potential. I speak of aloe vera, the silent healer. A murmur of surprise spread among the pilgrims. Aloe vera, with its fleshy, spiny leaves, was a familiar presence in their homes, a folk remedy passed down from generation to generation. But no one expected that the venerable Kenko, master of meditation and knower of the secrets of nature, would attribute such high value to it. Kenko, with a faint smile that lit up his face like a ray of sunshine through the clouds, understood their thoughts and began to reveal the ten benefits of this miraculous plant. Healing Wounds Imagine a young samurai, Kenko began, his voice vibrating with ancient stories, wounded in battle by a sharp katana. Blood flows freely, the pain is excruciating, but then a wise old man applies cool, soothing aloe vera gel to the wound. Like a magical dew, it soothes the burning, stops the bleeding, and speeds healing. That's because aloe vera, like an army of tiny benevolent spirits, contains vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and polysaccharides that work together to repair damaged tissue. I remember once, during a pilgrimage to the sacred mountains, when I seriously injured my leg. Without food or shelter, I relied on aloe vera. I picked a leaf, opened it, and applied the gel to the wound. The pain subsided, the wound healed in a few days, allowing me to continue my journey. Aloe vera is a gift from the gods, an elixir of long life used since the days of the ancient pharaohs. Hydration and beauty of the skin. Look at the women of the mountain villages, Kenko continued, 
With a gesture that attracted the attention of those present, their skin is smooth and luminous like the full moon, despite the sun and the wind. Their secret, aloe vera. This miraculous gel penetrates deeply, nourishing the skin with vitamins and minerals, making it soft and elastic as silk. Once, a young geisha, suffering from a terrible sunburn, came to me for help. I advised her to apply aloe vera gel to her reddened skin. A few days later, her skin was radiant again, free from any signs of suffering. Aloe vera is a beauty secret passed down from mother to daughter, a precious gift for maintaining the youthfulness of the skin. Acne and blemishes treatment. A young monk, Kanko said with compassion, was plagued by pimples and blemishes on his face. He was ashamed of his appearance and isolated himself from others. I advised him to apply aloe vera gel to the affected areas every day. With its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties, aloe vera purified his skin, giving him relief and self-confidence. Aloe vera is a faithful friend to those who suffer from acne, eczema, and other skin irritations, helping to restore healthy, glowing skin. Digestive health and intestinal well-being an old farmer, Kenko narrated in a warm and enveloping tone, suffered from severe stomach pain and difficult digestion. I prepared a drink for him based on aloe vera gel and honey. In a short time, his ailments eased, rediscovering the pleasure of enjoying the fruits of the earth. Aloe vera is a balm for the stomach and intestines, soothes irritated mucous membranes, regulates intestinal transit, and promotes the balance of bacterial flora. It is a natural remedy for finding lightness and inner well-being. Strengthening the immune system. During a particularly harsh winter, Kenko recalled, an influenza epidemic struck the village at the foot of Mount Koya. Many fell ill, but those who regularly took aloe vera were able to resist the contagion, this sacred plant, like an invisible warrior, stimulates the immune system, protecting us from viruses and bacteria. It is a precious ally in dealing with seasonal changes and periods of stress. Detoxification and purification of the body. Our body, Kenko explained with a wise voice, is like a flowing river. Sometimes, however, toxins accumulate like debris that hinders the natural flow of energy. Aloe vera, like a purifying rain, helps eliminate these wastes, stimulating the functionality of the liver and kidneys. A merchant, after a long journey, felt heavy and tired. I advised him to drink a glass of water with a spoonful of aloe vera gel every morning. In a few days, he regained energy and vitality. Reducing chronic inflammation. Inflammation, Kenko said gravely, is like a fire that slowly burns in our bodies, draining our energy and causing pain. Aloe vera, with its anti-inflammatory properties, acts like water that puts out the flames, providing relief and protecting our health. A woodcutter, afflicted with joint pain, found relief by applying aloe vera compresses to the painful areas. Thanks to this natural remedy, he was able to return to his work in the forest. Mental well-being and stress reduction. The mind, Kenko continued, is like a lake. When it is agitated by thoughts and worries, the waters become cloudy. Aloe vera, like a light breeze, calms the mind, promoting serenity and inner balance. A monk, tormented by anxiety and insomnia, began to meditate every day, drinking an aloe vera herbal tea before bed. Gradually, he found inner peace and restful sleep. Energy, vitality, and physical performance. A young disciple, Kenko said with an encouraging smile, often felt tired and lacking in energy. I advised him to add a spoonful of aloe vera gel to his morning rice. 
Thanks to this simple gesture, he was able to regain the strength and vitality necessary to face his days of study and practice. Aloe vera is a concentrate of energy, a precious ally for those who practice sports or carry out demanding activities. Inner and outer beauty, true beauty, Kenko concluded with an inspired voice, shines from within. Aloe vera, like an inner teacher, guides us towards harmony and balance, which are reflected in our skin, our hair, our gaze. It is an elixir of youth that nourishes inner and outer beauty, Kenko concluded with an inspired voice, guiding us towards the true essence of ourselves. Kenko stood, his slender form silhouetted against the fiery sunset sky. With a solemn gesture, he approached an aloe vera plant that grew lush at the edge of the clearing, its plump leaves stretched upward like praying hands. Look, he said, producing from his tunic a small curved knife carved from cherry wood. The secret lies within, like a treasure guarded by a thorny armor. Gently, Kenko cut into the base of a leaf, allowing the clear, viscous gel to ooze out. This lifeblood, she explained, gathering it with her fingers, is the heart of aloe vera, the source of its beneficial powers. You can apply it directly to the skin to soothe wounds and burns, or mix it with other ingredients to create ointments, beauty masks, and compresses. Showing the pilgrims the thorns that ran along the edges of the leaf, Kenko added, Do not fear these thorns. They are the protection of this precious gift. With caution, you can remove them and also use the outer part of the leaf to prepare decoctions and infusions, useful for purifying the body and strengthening the immune defenses. The pilgrims, enraptured by those words and those ancient gestures, approached with respect, eager to learn the secrets of that miraculous plant. Kenko, with the patience of a master who passes on an ancient art, showed them how to extract the gel, how to best preserve it, and how to use it to prepare natural remedies for various ailments. Remember, she finally said with a bright smile that radiated warmth and wisdom, that aloe vera is a symbol of life and resilience. Treat it with respect and gratitude, and it will accompany you on your path to health and serenity. Night had now fallen on the clearing, enveloping everything in a blanket of twinkling stars. The pilgrims, one by one, bowed in gratitude to the monk Kenko, taking with them not only his precious words, but also a fragment of aloe vera, a verdant talisman for their well-being. As they walked along the mountain path, Illuminated only by the moonlight, their hearts were filled with hope and their steps were as light as the wind in the leaves. The echo of their sandals blended with the murmur of the stream, creating an ancient melody that celebrated the harmony between man and nature. And in the air, together with the scent of pine and damp earth, hovered the promise of well-being contained in that miraculous plant, aloe vera, a gift from the gods for the health of body and spirit.